Right, basically, what I'm going to show you how to do uh, here is to be able to connect to your Medal of Honor game uh, with the server of your choice in a nice simple way without using any kind of uh, game server browsers such as uh, HLSW, Xfire, etc, etc. Okay, now normally you'd have to go through one of those um, programs to get to your uh, game server or you could click on Moha and uh, use the in-game browser to find a server. But for me personally it takes too long, you've got to open up another program, you've got to waste time waiting for it to download all the servers, to log on etc etc etc. So this is a nice simple way to just connect to the server of your choice. Now all this does is connect to one particular server okay, using one particular file. So if you want to connect to a load of different servers basically what you have to do is you have to create a separate file for each server that you want to connect to but once you've done that you don't ever have to use a game browser again. Okay, the only time you have to use a game browser is excuse me the only time you have to use a game browser is when you want to get the IP addresses of the game servers that you want to join. Okay, so in this case what I'm going to show you to do is connect to the TRL freeze tag server nice and simply by using one single file. Okay, so what you do is you click on your start menu, click on programs, accessories and notepad. Okay. Now this is just an ordinary text file, but we're going to change it into a different kind of file. We're going to change it into a bat file. So what you have to do is you have to type moha.exe and this doesn't just work for moha, it works for um, Allied Assault, Spearhead, Breakthrough. It also works for most of the games that are written using the Quake source code. Um, so games such as Battlefield, uh, COD, Quake, Unreal Tournament, etc, etc. These games can all be started in this way. Okay, so once you've typed your moha.exe, you type space, and then connect, and then space again. And now here is where you do the little bit of magic. You type 85.236.100.108, and then you want to do a colon and add the port number, which in our case is 12603. Okay, then what you do is you click on File, Save As. Okay, now I'm already in my Moha folder, so just find your Moha folder wherever it happens to be. Uh, it's you, Normally it's installed on a C drive, okay, but I've installed it on my H drive, and it's normally in Program Files, EA Games, and then Moha. Okay, so that's where we want to save it. So in our case, we want to give it a name that we can recognize. So it's going to be TRL underscore freeze take server. And then we're going to type BAT for the extension, the file name extension. OK, so you click on that. And then if you go to your Moha folder, you'll see that a little file has been created, which says TRL underscore freeze tag dot bat. OK, now this needs to be in the Moha uh, folder. So what it does is it actually starts this program here and connects directly to the server. Okay. Now, in order, we don't want to open up this folder all the time. Every single time we want to connect to this server. So there's a ni nice little trick we can use. You can right-click on this file and click Create Shortcut. Okay. Now, normally, when you create a shortcut, you might have on your computer Shortcut to and then it will say free stack. Now you can just delete all that stuff there, okay, and you can delete that, okay, and it's just now called TRL free stack. Okay, now again, right click on this and select properties, okay, and you'll have this little window open up here, okay, leave all this part as it is and the same there. What we're interested in is the run command. Now this tells this batch file to open in a normal window, so Normally if I click on this file here, it'll open up and you'll have a little black window that opens up and it looks really ugly. But what we want to do is we want to click Minimised. OK. So select Minimised, click Apply, then OK. Alright, and now if I click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to um, 
start the Moha server, but I'm not going to do this yet. I just want to show you another little trick. Okay, um, go to your Moha. Well, you've got your Moha window open in uh, Windows Explorer, and what you want to do is you want to select that path of the um, actual folder and click copy. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this and click on properties again. Okay. Um, all we're going to do is we're going to change the icon so we don't have this horrible looking little icon there. We're going to change the icon and we're going to select the Mohart icon. So you click open and this little window will open up here. You click paste there and then open. And what you want to do is you want to select the Mohart executable file. So select that, click open and now you can see that this icon appears. Click OK, click apply and then click OK. Now if you see our shortcut here, as you see here, it's a shortcut, okay, it's now changed to the actual Moha icon with that little up arrow there. And again, we don't want to go open our Moha games folder every time we want to uh, connect to the server. So what I would suggest you to do is um, right click on that and you can either cut it or copy it, okay. I'll copy it in this case and then we're going to paste this onto our desktop okay so you can either do it the way that I've just done it now or you can right click copy and then go to the Windows Explorer thing select desktop from there and if you want to you can right click and then paste it okay and that's all there is to it now all we're going to do is we're going to close that little window there and we're going to just click on this and it should start up the Moha game and connect directly to the server Okay, and basically all I want to show you is that we're connecting to the server. There you go, it says connecting to the server. And as you can see, it's just connected straight away. And we're there.